officially snowballed this campaign. We'll see. We'll see. We're picking up an intermittent distress signal, and as far as we can tell, the aliens are hitting back against one of the resistance outposts. Where can Doesn't you get We're moving in to secure the, the wizard market mod? Oh yeah, Robo Jumpers in the chat. It's a like private mod that Robo Jumper made, but I guess if you're very nice, he would be able to hook you up with it. Who's that? Miss Madassa, who has more abilities than the entire world. Okay, let's go find some guys to kill. Shield bearer, berserker, gunner. We could skull mine one of the advent guys. Berserk sort of a lot of hit points. Let's move already. Here comes trouble. Why did I only deal five damage to that? Seven to twelve. I don't understand. Don't understand. The red circles. That's actually a bot command, I think. It's for close encounters on my assault. So he gets a free shot against someone inside the red circle if he doesn't use running gun. But in this case, I've already used running gun, so it won't actually be free this time. Yeah, I guess it was a graze. I don't know. I didn't know that uh, Shredstorm Cannon could graze. I guess it can do everything else, though, so it makes sense. Raku! Mr. Raku? Raku? Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Join the show. This is not a map corner, so there can definitely be another pod out there. This is presumably four pods of three. It's like a little bit tougher to deal with four pods of three than it is to deal with three pods of four, in my opinion. Especially when you have very strong AoE. That was a hard shot to miss. Because if there were more guys in this pod, they'd probably just be like standing next to each other and dying from my AoE anyway. So it wouldn't actually be more difficult to kill them. On my way. So what do I have? Hold on. I have a volatile mix, shredder, resilience, will. Most of this stuff doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> in fact, I think none of those abilities do a single thing in this situation. So, glad we trained those. I could have thrown a free flashbang, I suppose. The gunner dead can't actually deal a lot of damage. And the shield bearer probably just shield himself, which is like adorable. Still, other rounds are pretty good, yeah. Exosuit's pretty good, coil weapon's pretty good. There are a variety of things here which are pretty good.
Snake has 15 hit points. Oh man, I got a new scrubbing brush for my back yesterday. It is such a wonderful thing to have a new brush for your back. Over here. My old one, like the bristles were starting to really soften and I couldn't really like, you know, scrub off the top layer of skin fully until I was like raw and bleeding, which is obviously what you're going for whenever you uh, scrub your back in the shower. Much more pleased. Now that I have a new one, though. Boar bristles, too. It's quite cheap on Amazon. Let's do this thing. Do Path of Exile... So, oh, terrible name doesn't burn out. I see. Do I get to do Path of Exile so I don't burn out, or do I just have to burn out? What's the what's the rules there? CCS was pretty good there, yeah. I mean, at this stage in a campaign, a faceless is just not going to have a great time running at your soldiers. If you've built them like with any strong abilities at all, basically. You have close encounters. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just out of range here. Can't get to there. So we can just move up and Finally. blow the snakes up with our wrist thing. Seems fine. Loot destroyed. Yeah, we're probably going to see quite a lot of that for the rest of the campaign, unfortunately. Sort of over it. Mostly over it, I think. I've never played Path of Exile. I'm pretty sure that if I played Path of Exile, I would just keep playing Path of Exile until like I died from exhaustion, dehydration. Being too sad, maybe. So because of that, I have not played Path of Exile. It's a self-preservation sort of thing. UI Umix, thanks for the follow up in the stream. Seem to all be dead. That's just tough luck. It's just tough luck. She has a run and gun. That's awesome. All right, cool. Oh, I haven't done nearly enough pointing out when people's facial photos are funny in this campaign. Oh it would drown in spreadsheets. Yeah, it wouldn't be the worst way to go. I'm very consumable happy. I have uh, eight. No, I have six. I have six Shredstorm cannons on the mission. Might as well use them. That's what they're for. We want to kill stuff quickly because it's currently eating all of our rebels every turn that we leave it alive. Just gonna rely on ever vigilant overwatches to protect us against yellow alert actions here. a lot of ever vigilant. It's not going to patrol in anyway. Got a Mutan over there killing Karen. Bashnagar. Here I come. 
I wonder if XCOM soldiers get paid. Sure thing. Also, do my off. graphics look really blurry to you guys, or like, am I drunk? Getting it done. Everything looks sort of blurry to me right now. Yes, I don't think that's just me. I think my graphics card was uh, taking a bit of a break that. rendering there for a second. My graphics card performance is something that I know almost nothing about, but like, I'm able to pretend to care deeply about. The Advent Troops are here. Oh god, tell me more about the Advent Captain there. Good night, Sparky. Balaton. So, are there other people I'm allowed to skulljack? Can I skulljack that guy? That guy looks sort of like an officer. I don't understand. Why am I not allowed to skulljack that guy? I should be allowed to skulljack him, too. Somewhat unpleasant miss. I guess I can just run the Overwatch, or I could like do that. Let's move already. Or that that would work too. I wonder how many rebels I've accidentally killed with red storm cannons and just not even noticed. Apparently there are six left alive. It's not very many, really. Looks like the stuff. Okay, fun mission. Shackled Stroke. Zomberdictos. Thanks for following into the stream. Man, these have been some uh, some very close fights that we've been fighting today. Go javelin rocket since we have two of them. I'm gonna go javelin rockets. I already have what incinerator does on every single soldier on the entire roster.
Hersat, thanks for the follow. Hi. Right. Well, we beat that. Should we do this? Probably not. Should we do that? Smash and grab. Destroy the alien relay. I'm gonna boost this mission. It gives us 24 intel to beat it. It's gonna be very easy to beat. Maybe very easy is pushing it. It's going to be quite easy to beat, though. It may end up being a light mission for six soldiers. It's okay. Are these the good soldiers? They're pretty good soldiers. I'd like to avoid a UFO hunting me. It'd just sort of be a pain. I'd have to worry about having a team around all the time. For three weeks or something. And that's a smash and grab, which you don't care about. Tibor has recovered from wounds. Can you keep officer training, Tibor? You can. Very good. I'm 352 intel. I would really love to successfully Skulljack an officer at this point. I've been looking for it for like almost the entire day. For the first half of the day, I forgot on every mission. And for the second half of the day, I killed every officer on the map with Overwatch, like the second that he pulled on every mission. So here we are. It's a pretty good liberation timer. We can liberate a fourth region here if we want. Boost this? Boost this and take Liberation 3? Costs us some intel, obviously. Could be fun to play a black site, though. Saves us a full week on that team. Okay. Enemy activity, light, moderate. Okay, good luck those guys. 